of dynamic leadership pathway. Uh, this project is focused on sharing his experience in mentoring and how we envision mentoring in Toastmasters journey. Uh, I wish Toastmaster Vivek all the best for his level two project three. So, uh, Toastmaster Vivek, uh, he works with Petrofec, a multinational EPC company that supports clients worldwide by building projects to support their energy need. Vivek, Toastmaster Vivek believes in family values, he believes in value-based, healthy relationship with people, he lives life with giver's attitude. So, for uh, Toastmaster Vivek, title of his speech is WOW and his pathway is dynamic leadership. Welcome Toastmaster Vivek. How many of you <coughs> wish to take your leadership and communication skills to the next level? I see almost everybody has raised their hands. Let me ask you the next question. How many of you are mentors to someone in your life? I see very less hand face. We will address this gap. Let me share a small parable. Once upon a time, in a village, there were three farmers. They were all neighbors. They had separate fields. They were suffering from common problem. Their crops were infected with pests and they were building. They were trying different different methods. One farmer tried to put a fence all around. Another farmer sprinkled pesticides and another farmer put a scarecrow off off. But all these things did not work. One day the head of the village he is also a farmer and he is teacher also to them, to these three farmers. He was passing by. What happened? No, nothing is happening. He gave them one stick. One stick each, they broke it. Easy. Then he gave them a bunch of sticks, many sticks. <coughs> they could not break it. They tried very hard, it did not break. He said, listen, if you work together, you are much stronger and you will lead a much better life. You will learn. <coughs> and he left the place. These three farmers got the message. Then they pulled their resources and got rid of the problem. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, Whatever this farmer did, the leader did, the head of the village did exactly the same way in Toastmasters, mentorship is invisible. Steven Spielberg said, the fine balance, the fine balance, the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image, but to allow them to create their own image, create themselves within themselves. With that, we take the part how Toastmasters are envisioning mentorship. Think about a candle. This is one candle lit. Now this candle lights another candle. Does it lose something? No. Does it lose something? No. This is another way of looking at mentorship. One candle lighting another candle, it doesn't lose anything. We have seen in our, in our own country, outside India, worldwide, Ramakrishna Paramhans, he was mentored to Swami Vivekananda. Warren Buffett, he has been mentored to Bill Gates and in between there are so many examples. All successful people had 
at least one mentor. Let me share my story. When I graduated from college in 1991, I was employed in western part of India in a manufacturing environment. It is a big company, and I was I joined as a graduate engineer trainee. For one year, I am supposed to only learn, do, and teach. This was the fundamental principle. Each Monday, at <coughs> 6 p.m., 30 minutes, every graduate engineer trainee is supposed to meet the top leadership person in the company and share his learning. What have you learned? I remember this gentleman. His name is Mr. Trivedi. He was the head of commercial there. He will call me. First time he met me. Okay, you are in BCM plant. Okay, for those who don't know BCM, it is vinyl chloride monomer. This is raw material to make plastic. Plastic like this is plastic. You can see. This is made of PVC. VCM is carcinogenic. Carcinogenic means cancerous. So he told me in the first meeting, "You want to become expert in VCM? You should think only VCM. You should drink VCM. You should smell VCM. 24 by 7, just think, think, think VCM only." I meticulously took all my notes. I heard him. Then I came back because this is for one year. Meeting various executives. After two months, again I am meeting him, and he is again asking me, "What have you done? Where is the improvement?" Then I told him, "Sir, this is carcinogenic. How you can ask me to smell it? Think, you know, this is not, this is unsafe." No, no. What I meant, if you want to achieve something in life, 24 by 7, you have to think about it. And these were words of wisdom for me. These were like wow moment for me. You become what you think. From that day onwards, I feel that I inherited the power of intention. I inherited the power of affirmation, and I inherited the power of manifesting it, achieving something whatever I can think of. i cannot forget that day that first year training how to achieve something yes with that i would like to leave this stage saying that if you want to achieve something think about it if you do not know where to go ask someone who has gone there thank you